right, first, let me just say that we live in an incredible time where there are exceptional drones at so many different price points and so much incredible quality for sub $1,000. I mean, that's an amazing thing. This is the DJI Air 2S. This is what I've been using for the last year. And I have to say, I love this drone. I've used four drones now. This is my fourth drone. And I have loved this one the most out of any drone that I've owned. And I don't plan on switching this from this for a while. But yes, most recently in the last few months, DJI released the Mini 3 Pro. That one is a very close drone to this, the DJI Air 2S. And I think a lot of people are wondering who are considering purchasing or leveling up their drone or maybe getting their first drone, should you get the Air 2S or should you get the Mini 3 Pro? And I really think it comes down to what are you needing? Are you needing a larger sensor? Are you needing larger resolution? Are you wanting to work with D-Log within your footage? Or are you, are you just gonna create content for yourself for social media? Are you looking for a lower price point? Are you looking for your first drone that's just gonna be really good and reliable? I mean, I think it kind of comes down to those factors. First, let me just put up the specs on the screen because yes, specs are important, but I'm not gonna dive into all of this because you can find more information about all about the different specs. I wanna talk more from just my own experience and comparing the two and comparing some of the footage and breaking down what I'm seeing in the footage and why I think that's important and then trying to help you make a decision on what's gonna be the best for you. So yes, the Air 2S is gonna have a larger sensor. It's gonna have larger resolution at 5.4K 5 5 versus just 4K. And that makes that, that does make a difference in terms of footage. The footage out of the Air 2S is ultimately going to be better. And it's gonna be better because it just has better specs. But if that's not a huge deal to you, the Mini 3 Pro has great footage. So let's compare some of the footage real quick. I went down to the Mississippi River here in Memphis where I live, and I compared both of these on a sunny day around 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. And I really just wanted to see, even with some harsh light, um, a very clear day, very clear blue skies. I wanted to see the difference between these two drones. And ultimately, yes, my theories, my hypothesis was confirmed. I do prefer and like the footage out of the Air 2S more than the Mini 3 Pro. I don't think the Mini 3 Pro footage is bad at all. I think it's very good. It's, it's better than my previous Mavic that I had. The Mini series has come a long way and there's incredible footage within that drone. But I think if you're looking for the best footage between the two of these, I think the Air 2S is going to take the cake. And part of that comes down to there's 10-bit color in both of these drones, but in the in the DJ, what is it called? But in the Mini 3 Pro, you're shooting in D-Cine-like, and then in the Air 2S, you're shooting in D-Log, and I just find that the D-Log profile is so much better. I find that there's more dynamic range within there. I find that coloring it, there's more flexibility. I feel like with the D-Cine like, it starts to fall apart more quickly versus the D-Log. And when I'm shooting log on my Canon cameras, like my R5 and my C70, I like to be able to work with log footage across the board. So I'm just not a huge fan personally, that's just my own personal take of D-Cine like. But again, if you're just looking for like maybe your first drone or just a drone at all to get good footage, I don't think you're gonna have any problems with the D-Cine like. Ultimately, you can find conversion LUTs for it online for free and you can pay for some maybe better ones, but all of that is available online as well. I think you can tell within this footage that there is some more dynamic range within the Air 2S. And for me, that's a bigger deal because a lot of times, I would say 80% of the time I'm filming foot, no, probably 90% of the time I'm filming footage for clients. And I want to just have the best footage that I possibly can for those projects. And for me, I get that out of the Air 2S. All right, let's talk about battery life. Of course, DJI likes to market the top most battery life you're gonna get in a setting that's absolutely perfect. There's no wind, there's no other constraints, but that's just not the reality when we are out there flying drones and filming. So I think honestly, the Air 2S and the Mini 3 Pro are gonna have very similar flight times with the batteries. I think it's gonna be more around 30 minutes, 31 minutes. I think the Air 2S maybe has a chance to drop down to 26 minutes or something like that. But ultimately, what's gonna happen with the Mini 3 is that it is a, surprisingly, it's a, it's a very small drone. And I think that's gonna be good for some people. But I was shocked when my buddy Ben pulled out the Mini 3 that we were using, his new drone. I was shocked by how small it was. 
and the, once we launched it and there was about like 15, 20 mile per hour winds down by the river, that thing was trying to work pretty hard to keep up with the wind and keep, keep everything stable. And I think that's the thing is if you're flying in conditions that are gonna be windy pretty frequently, you're not going to experience the maximum battery life. I mean, how could you? So that's one of the factors. And also speed plays a factor if you're gonna be flying really, really quick with either drone, with the Mini 3 or the Air 2S you're gonna have less battery life, you know, flying super fast if you're in sport mode on both of those. So I think battery life is just one of those things that ultimately you could probably just chalk it up for both of them are gonna be around 30 minutes, probably a little bit less because of the conditions that you're in and depending on how you're actually flying the drones. Since I already mentioned it, let's talk about build quality between the two drones. I was very shocked when my buddy Ben pulled out the Mini 3 Pro. I was very shocked at just how light and how thin that plastic seemed to feel. I mean, I know that the Air 2S is made of plastic as well, but this thing just, just it just feels way more durable than the Mini 3 felt. I mean, immediately holding the Mini 3, I was kind of concerned about like how well that was going to fly in a windy conditions. The build quality of the Air 2S is just feels significantly more durable than the Mini 3. And so if you're gonna be in conditions frequently where there's high winds or you're on a coastline or you're in mountains, I would be maybe a little bit scared of how the Mini 3 is going to hold up over time versus the Air 2S. I mean, there to me, honestly, there was a significance in just holding the drones and the build quality. Again, DJI makes very good drones. I'm not worried about that at all. I think the Mini 3 is, is going to work well, but it was kind of surprising, just kind of the three, the Mini 3 Pro kind of felt a little bit flimsy, to be honest. I don't think it's a bad drone. I just think that the build quality between the two, it's significant that the Air 2S is, it seems way more durable. And again, I've had no issues over the last year flying and taking this to different locations, taking it you know, in all different areas around the country. I haven't been concerned or worried about this drone holding up at all. I'd probably be a little bit more worried about the Mini 3 Pro, just in my own personal opinion. But ultimately, it kind of all comes down to this, like which drone should you purchase? And it really depends, like I said in the very beginning. Are you just going to be making content for yourself? Are you just gonna be doing photography? Are you mainly gonna be focusing on photos over video? If that's the case, I think the Mini 3 Pro is gonna be a perfect drone for you. If you're a beginner and you've never flown before, you should probably get the Mini 3 Pro, to be honest. If you're concerned about the video quality, the image quality, if you want that larger sensor, if you need more resolution, the Air 2S is absolutely what you need. It's got all the good obstacle avoidance and all that kind of stuff. So yes, the Mini 3 has probably better obstacle avoidance, but the Air 2S has all of that really good technology as well. So you're not really losing out on that. So that's what I would say. At the end of the day, what are you making, con like what kind of content are you making? Are you making it for clients? Are you more focused on the video and the quality of that video? Or you just you just need a drone because you just need some sick drone shots or you just need some stuff to mix within your own content or you're just trying to take photos. Maybe you're just doing real estate photos. It kind of comes down to what are your needs and are your needs more specific to a really good video image and the Air 2S is for you. Or if you're more just a beginner or you're just more looking for photography or just a drone at all, and I think the Mini 3 Pro is gonna be great for you. All right, and if you're interested in becoming a Part 107 licensed drone pilot, I created a video and I'll put it up here, linking to how I would approach taking that exam. I took my exam about two and a half years ago to become licensed, and so that video is gonna talk about that entire just approach. I'm not gonna teach how to pass it, but it's just about how you should approach it. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna know more about video production, photography, and the whole business side of things, that I would love for you to subscribe. So hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video.